the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. I therefore ask Congress to act on all pending legislations to reimpose death penalty on the heinous crimes, especially in the trafficking of illegal drugs. The original revised penal code, though it was translated into English, and those uh, in that in, in those about two books, three books, there are the definition of crimes and the penalties and everything. And the trust of that revised penal code, ladies and gentlemen, is it is the essence of re three. Yun. That is why you have penalty. There is also the word positivist theory that you can uh, nurture a criminal into goodness provided he goes to prison for two years, three years. He's released, he's a sex offender. When he goes out, he rapes again, kidnaps another girl and makes her a hostage for so many years. Ganun kayo eh. Admit it, ganon kayo. You are so too lenient about this son of a bitch, a human being that has a virulent brain, and his enemy is society. And many a times, there were sex offenders in America released. Only to rape and kidnap again and kill in just a few months after release. In the Philippines, it is really an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You took a life, then you must pay to die. That is the only way to even do that. You cannot place a premium on the human mind that he will go straight. Nobody can. Not even your best scientist. No one has ever fathomed how a person would react, especially in committing crimes. That's the only way to do it, to instill fear, that if you do it, you will die. That's the advantage of criminals and rebels and terrorists. Because they think that you are afraid to die. The President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Roa Duterte.